Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Mon tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be starting on our custom furnace. Um, I'm going to be making a jewel furnace. I'm, it's called a Sintera. So let's get into this tutorial. First thing we want to do, we want to create the actual block. So go into block in it, public static final block, which we're going to call um, Sintering Furnace, what I'm going to call it. You can make any type of furnace you want. Can have as many different inputs and outputs, but for me, I'm just going to have two inputs and one output, and I'm going to call it a sintering furnace. So obviously, equals new block sintering furnace, and its name is going to be sintering furnace. We're going to need to create this block dot objects and dot blocks. And I'm going to put dot machines dot Sintera. It's going to extend block base and implement I tile entity provider. Import block base with Control Shift O and add the um, the parameters. Remove material material and input material you want. I'm going to have mine in material to iron. I'm going to set the sound type. To sound type dot metal and you can set the hardness and resistance with set hardness and set resistance so now we are going to um, create a couple of properties public static final property direction facing equals block horizontal dot facing and another one public static final property bool called burning is property bool dot create burning so what these are, this is a property direction and is using each different horizontal facing, so it can be facing north, east, south or west. And we're going to use this to make sure that when we place our furnace down, the front is always facing us. Then the property boolean, this is what a property boolean is, it's a boolean, it can be returned true or false and if it's burning or not, so if it's active. So you can call it active, you can call it burning. Since we do have these properties, we're gonna to have to set the default state. So this dot set default state to this dot block state dot get base state dot with property facing. It's gonna be default to north, enum facing dot north. And once again with property, Uh, burning and it's going to be defaulted to false as normally it's not going to be active. The first prop um, function we need is get item dropped and this is going to return item dot get item from block block in it dot sintering furnace. We are also going to need get item which is going to return the same, except instead of the item to get item from block, it will be a new item stack. Control Shift S to save all, and this will um, make it so it knows about our sintering furnace. Next, on block activated. So this is when you right click on the block, what is gonna happen? If, exclamation mark, meaning not, world dot is remote so world in dot is remote player in dot open gui you're gonna want your instance so main dot instance if you haven't created an instance if you haven't watched previous tutorials then it's just public static main instance like that your gui id do reference dot um, GUI sintering furnace and then go into your reference class and create a public static final int and set it equal to zero. Control Shift O to import harry.mod.util.reference. Then inside of world, um, put world in instead 
and for x, y, z, put pos.get x, pos.get y, and pos.get z, and return true. The next one is going to be on block added. This is quite a large function, so I'm going to copy it in and then explain it to you. You can obviously find this on my GitHub, linked in the description. So if the world is remote, if the world isn't remote, we create block states for each direction. So the block facing north, south, west, east, and then you get the um, which way it's actually facing. And then we calculate which way to face it. So if it's facing north, and north is a full block, and south is not a full block, we face it to south, and so on and so forth, setting them to the correct direction. What this is doing is setting it to the opposite direction the player is facing. Um, so if we were to set it, this one to north, this one to south, this one to west, and this one to east, it would make it so it faced the opposite, so that the front was facing away from the player. We want it to face towards the player, so we do the opposite of that. And then we set the facing property to be equal to the correct direction. So obviously you can copy this in or type it out. The next thing we're going to do is public static void set state. This is one of my own custom ones, which I'm also going to bring in. Control Shift Do. So we create a variable for the block itself and for our tile entity. And then we check if it is active. So if it is actually smelting, then we set it to have um, to be burning. So we set burning to be true here in the with property. And this, when we go into our models, will change the front face to do something different. Or if it's not burning, we set it to be normal. And then if the tile entity exists, if there is a tile entity, which there will be, then we validate the tile entity and we set the tile entity. Talking of tile entities, the next function, create, tile, create new tile entity. We're going to return new tile entity sintering furnace. But we'll come back down to that next episode. We're going to get the state for placement, which is going to return this dot get default state dot with property facing player dot get horizontal facing. Sorry, not player, placer, which is the thing that places it, which will be the player dot get horizontal facing dot get opposite so set it to be facing the opposite way now on block placed by is going to be the exact same thing except this time it's a void so we're going to have to not return it we're going to have to do world in dot set block state pause and then the state is this and after here put the um, flag 2, if we hover over this, flag 2 will send the change to clients. Next, get render type. We set it to enum render type dot model. So return enum block render type dot model. Put with rotation. Return state dot with property facing rot dot rotate then you're going to want to put open up some brackets enum facing state dot gets value facing put an additional bracket on the end and a semicolon so we rotate it to the correct way to face with mirror is going to be very similar. Return state dot with rotation mirror in dot to rotation enum facing state dot get value facing put an additional um, additional back out at the start, additional back out on the end, and that's the mirror done. We're going to have to create the block state to incorporate facing and burning. 
return new block state container this new i property array burning and facing it's important that, that direction that, that way around as when we go through and create our models later um this will need to be incorporated now we're going to want get state from meta well firstly we're going to get the facing enum facing facing is enum facing dot get front from the metadata if facing dot get access equals enum facing dot access dot y then facing is enum facing dot north and then else return this dot get default state dot with property facing facing then get meta for state we're going to return then double open brackets enum facing state dot get value facing dot get index and in the final function in here I'm going to put below on block place by is break block so what happens when you break the block you get the tile entity so tile entity sintering furnace tile entity is tile entity sintering furnace world in dot get tile entity from the position inventory helper dot drop inventory items world pause and tile entity and then super dot break block world in pause state that's block class done uh, we are now going to do the models so for block states i'm just going to drag in a copy of mine and then i'll explain it to you but you're going to want to create a new a new text document there's only one block state which is sintering furnace i'm going to quickly change all these to tm um so we have the burning burning is false so it's not active and it's facing north east south and west and then northeast southwest for when it is active so what we have here we get the actual model and then how much it to be rotated from where it was originally so rotation 90 for east um, 180 for south 270 for west and nothing um, for north and then the ones that are active are called lit sintering furnaces and the ones that are inactive are called sintering furnaces so you want eight different um, properties as it's four times two then we're obviously going to, want to put them in the, inside the lang file as you can see i was working on a normal furnace you can literally just copy all of the normal furnace code and um, change one thing which is the speed and then you can just have a custom furnace if you want but i want to show you how to make a completely custom one so give that a save then for the block models there's going to be two the lit sintering furnace and the sintering furnace they're going to be virtually identical they are block orientables and their textures we have the particle um, we have um, the facing up, facing down, facing north, facing east, facing south, facing west. The only difference is for the lit one, um, the north facing texture is sintering furnace front on, whereas in the um, sintering furnace texture it is off. So that's all the block models. And the item models are like any other. There is only a single item model as we're never going to see the actual lit item. So it's just sintering furnace and it's going to parent off of the unlit one. So that is the block class done and that will be the end of this video as it's already getting quite long. In the next episode, I'll be going through the tile entity. Um, this, may, this series may end up being three or four or five episodes. So if you're excited to see the next episode, please leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. So thanks for watching guys. My name's been Harry and goodbye.